Hi guys, welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Handbrake to rip DVD discs, including copy-protected movie and TV series DVDs. Before we jump in, it should be noted that Handbrake may also fail to rip some strictly encrypted DVDs. So if the method in the video doesn't work, what I recommend is to Google DVD Ripper and find one Handbrake alternative to decrypt and rip your discs. Okay, now let's get to the point. The first step is to download Handbrake. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you can visit their official website by clicking the link in the description below. After installing Handbrake, now we can move to the next step, load the target DVD into your DVD drive and open Handbrake. Then click Target DVD in Source Selection Panel and Handbrake will begin scanning it. It takes a few moments to scan the content, but sometimes this error will pop up at this time. It's probably because your source file format isn't supported by Handbrake or Copy Protected. But no worries, I'll offer a quick solution at the end of the video. When it's finished scanning your DVDs, you can choose exactly what content you want. If you're ripping a TV show, each title here corresponds to a different episode. If you just want an episode, just chose the one you want here. And if you want serval or all episodes, click on Add to Queue button and tick on the episodes you wanted. Then each episode will be saved individually. And if you're ripping a movie, the longest video is typically the movie. And it is the same method to rip the full movie DVD by Add to Queue function. Next, we need to configure the output settings. Handbrake offers dozens of output presets. And I suggest you choose the same or similar quality preset as your DVD. Because choosing a larger preset won't make the output video look better but bigger. And it's easy to know the original quality of your DVD. Just check here. You can see my DVD is 320p. So here I'll choose the Fast 480p30 as the preset. Now we can choose the audio and subtitles. Actually besides video preset, Handbrake also allows you to customize other video parameters like codec and frame rate. But if you know little about those features, just keep the default settings untouched. But it's worth spending a few minutes on the audio and subtitles tab, because that's where you can choose which dubs and subtitles make it onto your rip. Once you're happy with all your settings, navigate to save a section and then click browse to choose the location for storing the resulting file. Then click the start and code button at the top of the screen to rip DVD. Okay and once the transfer is complete, you'll see your movie or TV show file at the destination. So, that's the whole process, rip any DVD using Handbrake in 6 easy steps. But what to do when Handbrake won't rip your DVD, and pops up the no valid source or titles found, as you can see here, Handbrake has explained to you the possible reasons caused the problems, and if your DVD is bought instead of homemade, then it probably is the second situation, because almost all store-bought DVDs are copyright protected. To solve the problem, you should firstly download LibDVD CSS. It is a part of Videolin project capable of reading and decrypting DVDs locked by region codes 1 to 6 and CSS. But even with LibDVD CSS being installed, Handbrake may also fail to rip some strictly encrypted DVDs. Alternatively, you can try out other DVD ripper software, like Winx DVD Ripper. It's capable of processing various encryption schemes. And there's no need for additional converter programs and you don't have to configure any settings because Winx will automatically copy the DVD in the best video quality. If you're interested in this program, check the download link in description and give it a try. And that is today's Handbrake tutorial video for beginners. If you have any questions at all you can leave a comment below, and I will answer it for you ASAP. And if this video helped, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe the channel so you are notified when I upload more step-by-step -step tutorial videos. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day.